Hi everyone, Bruce here. Thanks for stopping by. Merci tout le monde d'être passé. Bonjour et bienvenue. Ou bien, bonsoir et bienvenue. Merci. So, we're looking at a beautiful close-up surface of the moon. We can't get in enough. Guys, I'm up to week number six of grayness here. Um, the weather here is incredible. I've never seen so much rain. I've never seen so many thick clouds and gray days. But it can't last forever, and that's what I say. The summer weather should arrive at one point, but you know what? The heat's still on. This morning was absolutely crazy how cold it was, and yet the greenery outside is just getting thicker and thicker with the rain that's falling. We're going to see some nice close-ups here, um, ladies and gents. Um, as we go over the moon, planning over the moon, get some nice soft music up, and uh, yeah, I'm going to stay up late tonight to get another video up for tomorrow afternoon for you all. Live stream coming up on Friday. Thanks for being here, everyone. Thanks for the support. Oh, just the last thing, guys. I am looking for some other uh, infrared equipment, some better cameras, etc. And we're going to do some exper experiments and uh, experiment with some new cameras. I am looking online to get something a lot better quality. And I'll keep you guys um, all up to date with where we are on that. Now, again, I'm just looking right now because... Um, it costs a lot of money, right? Infrared equipment, but any money that I did receive uh, through the live streams, I've been putting it aside and um, it's gonna go for the infrared, just to let you guys know. Don't worry guys, we'll be updating the equipment. That's what everything's going on so that we can have this beautiful channel for free and to be able to show exactly what's out there in space. It's really mesmerizing. So there's a lot more coming a lot more coming and i have yet to leave the house guys with the telescope and with the infrared camera oh and i will to go up to dark areas
Now, here's what I love seeing. It's what we never see, and it's the thousands of craterlets that people don't even realize are on the surface. So basically, there would have been a meteor impact every inch of the moon side by side lined. No, it doesn't make any sense. And that's why I believe some of the craters are not just impact craters. Look at all the craterlets. Isn't it incredible? We're slowed down now. It's extra slow so that we could see them all there and all the beautiful colors. Um, and it's really the surface that has this color. We can see it. There's no refraction here aside from the edge, the purples up on the top there. Could all these objects be underwater? It'd be amazing, like a water world. All the, look at that massive elevated shadow, even underneath that massive object. Reservoirs, who knows? Objects, reservoirs, filled with fuel, who knows? We're allowed to dream, right? Because I don't have any proof of what any of this is, but let me tell you, it sure does look constructed, that's for sure. Um, and what fascinates me, the fact that these structures have the same reflectivity as the surface, they are not being seen. I've been saying it for two and a half years, almost three years. And that's the conclusion I came to. It's the only way of explaining it that, you know, you're looking at objects that have different colors, but we're seeing them all the same colors because it's in space. 